Having uh, this guy who was here and honest talking about his experience coming from his home country and how he's trying to find his niche to uh, normal education channels and then deciding that he can go in on his own and not uh, burn up a bunch of money. So that was awesome to hear that. Is walking the route. Yeah, yeah. But I'll just sign up again. I'm yeah, because this is what's going to go to the IFB utility board. Okay. I did it online, so. Oh, good. Good. Okay. I stole another cookie. <laughs> If there are any uh, uh, local events for related to the Backward Pipeline, I would love to come. Okay, well, there is stuff coming up, I know, um, and to um, you know, check CCI's website. Yeah. Ha- and then there's the, the Bakken Pipeline. Yeah, there's. I, I follow the post on Facebook. Okay, here's about the coalition. And they yeah, in things. fact, the Occupy the World Food Prize group has signed on to the coalition. Oh, good, good. It was a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, so I follow the stuff on Facebook. I share it. And uh, and if I find something that's uh, on its own, that, you know, like I shared one earlier today. Okay. Uh, that uh, I got from someone in Ames in an email, and then I shared that on Facebook. Recharge. Yes. Fully <laughs> recharge. That's what I needed. Yeah. And then you dive right back into it. <laughs> right. It's a dive. Nothing else but a dive. That's print. Yep. I'm really excited to hear what you have planned for the spring. I'm very excited. I'm getting some training this week, so we're on the water to DC. What do you guys say about that? Yeah. Ah, awesome. Yeah. And in May, there is a training thing that's going to be done at the Catholic Worker House, and uh, I'm going to see uh, if it's some some of it that I can stream. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, that way, this you know, more people can uh, take benefit from it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a Facebook event for it. Oh, 
probably added to it. How is everything going with like the legislation that we're working on? What's the progress of that? I feel like it's just kind of snapping on right now. Yeah. Like, um, it's not going anywhere, but it's also going to be introduced. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and the things that you don't want to see coming out are coming out. I mean, it's like, what the crap? <laughs> I feel like people are, you know, kind of hearing more about it, which is helpful. And, you know, it, it helps that, you know, body cameras have been in the news and whatnot. But um, interesting, yesterday I did a lot of tabling at my campus for, you know, getting racial profiling stories, and people are very open to it. You know, I didn't think that, I thought I'd have to fight people on campus. The legislation are coming, is coming together, thankfully. Hopefully we get it in quicker than we thought it would, because they were thinking that it may have been like four years or something that's actually done. It is really hard to get hard. stuff to yeah. clean in with the legislation. Yeah, the GMO thing, yeah. you know, that's, t- that's still trying to get... It's still a struggle to get that here in Iowa. You know, we got the world food prize here, and with us Occupy the World Food Prize trying to counter that, that Monsanto owned crap. Yeah. You know that that's that can be a little difficult. But you know, we're gonna keep at it. Actually, I talked to um, Sergeant Halifax, who's like the spokesperson for the Des Moines in one of my classes. Okay. And I. I asked him about like the body cameras on everybody and I think you know it is really interesting to hear from somebody like him saying like they do he he does want, yeah, they want the, everyone to have them yep. but it's like a monetary issue yes yeah. very monetary and it's like how it is so expensive and also like a storage yes, issue as the well to store issue. the files. Yeah, that's those, those are the two things and also the privacy <laughs> thing. Yeah, and the, yeah, like can you when do you want me to turn off the camera when I go up to the door and right. your wife's not wearing her? Yeah, robe or when the, the cop has to like, go to the bathroom, you know. Yeah, those are uh-huh. the things that they come up and I've heard that a lot. Yeah. But it is, I don't know, it's like. I don't know. It feels like they want to move forward, but it's like, how can we make that happen? Right. Yeah. And then you yeah. and then you hear about those convenient malfunctions. Yeah. You know, where uh, body cameras turned off right before a cop uh-huh. does something dirty. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was interesting. I went to uh, what is this, a meeting by the Human Resource Committee. I think it was something like that. They had all a lot of cops in the room. I think it was 13 cops. And we talked about this issue. And right off the bat, they just kind of talked about, you know, how they were opposed to having body cameras because of these things. And they just, I just didn't understand, you know, why why they were opposed. But yeah, you know, like, like when what? I talked to Sergeant Halifax, he seemed like he, he is in support of yeah, it, he but is. he sees those as barriers. It's barriers, yeah. 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 But it's like he almost doesn't even know himself how to combat those barriers. Exactly, and I feel like that's something that we need to talk about. You know, I have that language being changed in the legislation because no one's going to push for that if those things are not. Yeah. So, and you know what? To be honest, they are kind of big, you know, the privacy thing. Yeah. Uh, but they shouldn't be used as excuses to have, not have them. Yeah. You know, to definitely. Well. Yeah. Yeah, girl. It's very interesting. Hopefully, it just comes along. Well, thank you so much. You did a nice job. You did a really good job. Yeah. In other words, she's got a good future. Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> I do love Girl Scout cookies. Oh, yeah. Although the thin mints are missing. Do you want to get Well, I look forward to meeting again and yeah. working together again. Good luck with your you graduate. Next May. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yep, I'll be around. <laughs> I saw the I saw the, the woman on stage did her. Yes. I saw it. It was absolutely amazing.
That was um, yeah. I'm really good. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. Well, looks like uh, everything is wrapped up here. So I want to thank you for watching. And before I close out, I ask you to please check out my donation links. Or, uh, if you're watching on my Ustream channel page, they are below the video view window www.gofundme.com slash occupyorkaylin that's K-A-Y-L-Y-N-N again www.gofundme.com slash occupyorkaylin or if you cannot access GoFundMe you can go through PayPal at www.paypal.com in the send money to line enter the email address s-t-r-a-i-n-s-o-p at aol.com Again, www.paypal.com, and in the Send Money To line, enter the email address strainsop at aol.com. Any donation you can kick my way will help me cover the cost of my live streaming and broadcasting. I need a huge day to plan when I do this, although tonight I'm pinging off of a good Wi-Fi, although I had a couple of disconnects. But other than that, a solid connection here. And... Uh, that will help me uh, cover the cost of uh, getting things to help keep me going. Like uh, I recently bought a spare battery. I have a power pack, additional power pack on the way to go along with the additional one that I, the other one that I already have. And since I lost one of my uh, monopods, one that I normally use for my phone, right now I'm using the one that's that has an adjustable height for my uh, tablet. But I want to get another monopod for my uh, phone so I can have uh, both of them. And uh, have getting a cords because sometimes uh, ends, the micro end on the USB cords uh, gets flattened out. So it doesn't make that solid connection. And uh, so additional cords plus my... Uh, data plan and uh, I'm hoping to I want to get a new computer so that I can broadcast from home and uh, you know support the global occupy news network or activist world news now or any other channel that uh, I am listed as a producer on as well as my own uh, channel on live stream and I want to do that but uh, so I need to uh, raise money to get myself a new computer but to anything you can kick my way would certainly uh, help. Even if it's just a dollar, that, that would be great. But if you can't donate, uh, do pass my donation links around. Pass my uh, channel around. Let other people know that I'm here. And uh, support all the local streamers wherever they may be. Uh, pass their channels around. Watch them. Engage with them. Yeah. Uh, give them you know, constructive criticism. You know, things they can do better. You know, I can always learn from others. And uh, again, the see you Thursday. And uh, right here, 7 p.m. Central Time for Rabbi Rosen. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the street.